Thank you, Roger. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited to talk to you today. As Roger noted, um, I came, I've spent many years in the big data space and excited to take you through a little bit of the journey that we see enterprises taking and how we're helping from the foundation of analytic insight of trusted data at massive scale to the driving real-time response to really help people build autonomous systems and into the exciting future of artificial intelligence, which uh, leading enterprises are getting serious about today. That's an increasing focus of mine in my role as well, in a new role at Teradata as CTO of Services and Architecture. But let's start. The foundation of analytic insight is incredibly important. So we continue to see the importance of the power of integrated data at massive scale to provide descriptive analytics and indeed machine, to power machine learning. Um, where Teradata database continues to be second to none, um, now available in a borderless way where it's available on Amazon and Azure as well as in software and hardware deployments. But that really complements you know, the recent movement towards data lakes founded on Apache Hadoop, but increasingly we're using Apache Spark and seeing that as a foundation for how to do data transformations on your data lake and Apache NiFi as a way of doing distributed data collection based on open source. Um, we see it's incredibly important to blend the commercial and open source ecosystems in our enterprise customers where they want to integrate data warehousing with data lakes to work well in an increasingly digital world. The pace of change of data means you can't afford to model all the data up front, but you ultimately want to model the high value data. You know, being able to have access to that data in a raw form, you need a high performance query engine. So Presto is something that we're proud to be partnering with Facebook and developing an open source. To, it's a system that Facebook uses to process petabytes of data every day in raw form and is now the foundation of services um, such as Athena on Amazon, right? So we see enterprises leveraging that and we're excited to be sig significant contributors to make it enterprise ready. We also see it's important to have technologies like Query Grid that leverage Presto to integrate commercial technology with open source to make it easy to integrate those data sets for broader use. And excited to see things like Teradata as Aster now running on Hadoop and leveraging Spark integration as well. So that foundation of analytic insight is important. One thing that's important is building data lakes that scale and are industrial. So we're excited to announce the open source release of Kylo, a framework that builds on Spark and NiFi to support various different roles in using data lakes. So allowing ETL developers to contribute while allowing uh, Java engineers, Spark engineers to build the foundation templates and processors and to make it easy to do monitoring and operation on data flows. So I'd encourage you to go to kylo.io or stop by our booth today to learn more about Kylo. Beyond that foundation, we see it's incredibly important to have real-time response, to be able to take in streams of data using technologies like Spark or a commercial version of that, which Teradata offers called Listener, as well as stream processing engines like Spark or, or Flink on top of Kafka to really drive real-time response, not only in interactive applications, but also machine learning. And finally, this leads us to the opportunity to really apply AI in the enterprise. So what we're seeing is the foundation of rapid progress in GPU power and innovative research. Research like Michael Jordan talked about at Berkeley, at places like Stanford and Google and Microsoft, right? There's lots of fundamental research. But what's so exciting is we're seeing the enterprise is now starting to really embrace and see practical use cases applying these innovative techniques. Um, interesting statistic I saw, uh, the, the massive increase in the number of public companies talking about artificial intelligence in their earnings reports. So the, the C-suite, the board at most of your companies are thinking about this. How can you apply it? Right? Well, we're excited to bring our depth and knowledge around open source and analytics to help customers succeed with optimized hardware, with software integration, and consulting around use cases like how do you do visual search from a mobile app to find products that are relevant for a given product somebody may be interested in. Maybe they're pointing to a pin board, maybe they just take a picture. Or anti-fraud, where one of the important techniques we see is blending neural networks, deep learning, with traditional techniques to have a better result. Similarly, around recommendation engines, right, the ability to use a neural network to learn general categories, to say these are the kinds of things that people like this are interested in, but then memorize exceptions. Here's a popular case where this specific thing happens to work really well or not work well. And we're also seeing a lot of use in, in the automotive industry, not 
you know, we all hear about self-driving cars, but we're helping companies with practical use cases around how do you make driving better and provide better information today using these techniques. Now, I want to point out that not only are technologies like TensorFlow and open source incredibly important, but so is the rich community of research applying this with open source communities on GitHub, right? So being able to take those and apply them, turn them into production quality code is incredibly important. A lot of times we, you know, you combine how do you have massive scale training on GPUs with effective commercialization using uh, serving frameworks to make this de deployable for real time response. So I'm really excited about the fact that AI is no longer in the science fiction movies, but it's really being applied in the enterprise at scale. And with that, I just want to recap the, the importance of the journey to establish the analytic foundation to get to a real-time response system so that you're ready for the future of artificial intelligence. And we're excited to be a part of that journey with our customers. Thank you.